Hello, welcome back. In today's class, we're going to learn about multiplication. Well, we're going to check out the multiplication tables. But before we do that, let's tackle this really intriguing question from the last class. The sports team, let's pull on a bus. When they stopped, 15 persons came off and 6 persons came on. There are now 8 persons on the bus. How many persons were initially on the bus? Wait, wait, wait. Pause the video and see if you can get it out. Some of you all may have done it already. If you haven't, pause the video. Get this done. I'm going to do the answer now. I'm going to do the answer right now. The important thing about this question is to write proper statements. So I want to decipher, figure out how much less persons are on the bus. There are 15 came off, but 6 came back on. So let's subtract that. 15 minus 6 is 9 less persons on the bus. And now there are 8 persons on the bus. If there are 8 persons on the bus and there are 9 less persons than there were before, how many persons were there on the bus? So there were 8 plus the 9 that came off overall. 17 persons on the bus. An interesting thing that you can do in these questions is plug back in the answer into the question and make sure it works out. So there are initially 17 persons on the bus. That's what we found out. And 15 came off. If 15 came off, 17 minus 15 means that there are now 2 persons on the bus. But wait, 6 persons came on. So if 6 persons came on the bus, 6 plus 2 is 8. There are now 8 persons on the bus. Everything works out. All the numbers check out. That means we are on the path of righteousness. <laughs> so let's go forward. For some people, this is their arc nemesis. Their enemy for the first 10 years of their life. Don't let this be your enemy. I'm here to encourage you today for the next piece of this class to learn every single one of your tables. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There are some very interesting patterns in the tables. Do you know that? Some of these tables have some patterns that make them really easy to learn. In fact, we can split the tables into three tier levels. Three levels. Easy, medium, and tough. The easy guys are like the two times table, which is very easy. Three times is also pretty easy. Five times is super easy. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. We know those. Nine times easy because there's a pattern. Ten times is easy because ten, twenty, thirty, and eleven times table because there's another pattern. Do you know the patterns? And then there's the medium guys. They are the medium guys, like the four times table, the six times table, the twelve times tables. Do you know these? The twelve times table. Most people find that on the medium level, but it's getting tougher. But the tables that most students have problems with is the 7 and the 8 times table. Which table you have problems with? Which table you had problems with in your past? Which was the last table for you to learn? Maybe it was the 7 because the 7 times table, there's no pattern in it. There's, you just have to memorize everything. Let's look at a couple of the easy ones. 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 2 is 6, 4 times 2 is 8, 5 times 2 is 10. Then it kind of repeats because then we go to 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. Are you seeing that the ending number is repeating here? Then we have 22 and 24 finishing off again. So 2 times tables, you should know that at this level. 3 times table is also pretty simple. 1, 3 is 3 six nine uh four trees are 12 five trees are 15 this is a really popular guy boy i see this in a lot of questions five trees five trees three fives three fives 15 six trees are 18 seven trees are 21 very beautiful multiplication there and this is a piece of the seven times table da -ha. so sometimes we can see other tables coming off in this is the eight times table this is the nine times table and that can help you memorize different tables whilst you learn in one eight trees are 24 nine trees are 27 because it's three less than 30 which is 10 trees and 11 trees are 33 and 12 trees are 36 let's look at the four times table one four is four two fours are eight three fours are 12 four fours are 16 five fours are 20 and once we see that zero we're expecting a nice repeat again so that'll be 24 yep then 28 seven fours are 28 Seven times tables coming in there. So we're memorizing the seven times table piece by piece. Eight fours are 32. Nine fours are 36 because it's four less than 10 fours, which is 40. 11 fours are 44 and 12 fours are 48. 
Well, we have come to the end of this class. What are the patterns in the 9 times and 11 times table that make it easy to remember? That's the question I want to leave you with. What are the patterns in the 9 times table and 11 times table that make it so easy to memorize? So write out your answer and meet me in the next class. Have a nice day.